Hello everyone, this is Michelle Sizemore at michellesizemore.com and that's Michelle with one L if you're looking for me on my website. Um, I'm a Creative Memories Advisor and today you'll learn how to make this festive border using the Balloons and Stars Border Punch from Creative Memories. I also use the Birthday Bonanza Scrapbooking Collection from Creative Memories. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for the moment and I'm going to pull out the items that I used. I've got them in a Power Project folder. These are the die cuts that I used. They're embellishments from the Birthday Bonanza collection. And I used these papers. This was the main paper that I used. And then I used these fun colors. There's a fun pink, yellow, green, and there's a blue, and then I added some green cardstock. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one because it's the main piece. Move those embellishments aside. And I need a strip of this that's two and a quarter inches. So, I'm gonna use my trimmer and put my paper in and line it up at the two and a quarter inches mark, which is right there. Line it up there and make sure it's straight all the way down on this grid line. Hold it down, close my arm, and cut. And I have the straight blade in there. So I have the main piece that I need. Then I'm going to cut two blue pieces with this scallop edge. Now this trimmer comes with all these different blades. Well, a couple of them are duplicates in here, but it comes with lots of different blades. I'm going to use the scallop blade and this blue paper. And honestly, I already have a scalloped edge on there, so that's good. And I'll cut a scalloped edge on the other side because I'm going to need two pieces. Oops, I need to put that scallop blade in there. I forgot. So let's put that in there. Um, when I put my paper in here, this is going to cut right along this left-hand side dotted line on my mat strip. So I just I want to I want to save as much paper as I can. So I don't want to cut too much off, but I need it to have enough cut off where it will get that whole design in there. So and these little uh, plastic things right here with a line show you exactly where it's going to cut. So I've left plenty of room for my design. So I'm going to cut and then I have another scalloped edge. I'm going to put my straight blade in here now and really I just need two skinny strips of this. I just need it wide enough to put some adhesive on the bottom. I'm not even going to measure it because it doesn't matter because most of this is going to be tucked underneath. As you can see, all that pokes out is just a little bit. So there's no point in measuring, it just doesn't matter. Okay, so I've got my two strips of blue with the scalloped edge. And I'm going to mount those on the back of here with my repositionable tape runner. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape runner along the edge. I don't need much. And then I'm just going to look at it and I want about that much to poke out the side just to give it a nice little decorative edge. And I'm going to do the same thing here, okay? And I just want a little bit to show on the edge. Okay, so I'll have that look there. And just so you can see it better, I'll put it on this white cardstock and then I put some green paper with a straight edge so I'm going to cut two strips of skinny uh, skinny strips of green designer paper and this paper goes with the all this went with the collection so it goes together very well I'm just gonna cut two strips about like that they just don't need to be big okay then I'm going to put my tape runner on the back of this designer edge, just a little bit along the edge and I'm just doing little dabs of it. You don't want to like take it and go whoosh all the way down because you'll waste a lot of it. 
you just need a little, a little bit of, a little dabs all the way down. And I want about that much to show of that green. So that looks good. And then I'm gonna do it on the other side. And I want about the same amount to show on that side. So I'm happy with that part. And now what I need to do is create my layers of balloons. So I need, um, actually, usually I already pre-make some of these to save time, but I sort of forgot. So I'm just gonna go with it and make them all. Y'all can watch. I'll try to go fast. I'll, I'll explain with the first one and then I'll go fast with the rest. I need to get a straight edge on here because this was a scrap piece of paper. Now, first time I use this, you want to put your cardstock or your paper inside right here. And then you want to line it up with this black line right here. So I'm going to line it up with the black line. And that is my starting point. Make sure it's straight along that whole lip right there and punch. And then I kind of move it over and get wipe off my scraps in between cuts so they don't get caught up in there. And then the next thing you wanna do, see this blue pattern here? You want to match your pattern and put it right over that blue so you don't see any of the blue and that's how you know you're in the right spot. So I'm going to do that, match up my pattern Make sure it's straight along this lip right here. Hold it firm and punch. And then I'm gonna do that same thing all the way down. Move my scraps between every punch or two. Okay, so now I have my row of balloons. Now I do see there's a little piece right there I need to cut off, but I'll do that when I'm finished with my micro scissors. So the other colors I did were the pink, that pink pattern paper. So I'm going to do that with this piece right here. And I'm not gonna explain anything since I just explained it on the green. I'm just gonna do it and do it pretty fast like I would do if y'all weren't watching the video. Move my scraps out of the way. done with that one and then I need one more in this color and I always use my pieces that have been that are scraps I wouldn't call this a scrap but it's not a complete full piece try to use those up first before I start on a brand new sheet because I like to get every little piece I can out of my paper every paper piece matters <laughs> Because you can do a lot with your strips of paper. Match up my design. Oop, make sure it's straight here. Match up my design. Make sure it's straight. Move my scraps out of the way. And I just have one more punch and I will have my three rows of balloons done. Now I just need to take my micro scissors and where I see some little scraggly edges, I'm gonna cut those off. For example, the end of this one. And I'm just gonna to try to round off that star to make it look like it's supposed to look. These micro scissors are really great because they get into those little crevices and things and they're super sharp so they're really good scissors and there's an end on this one that needs to be cleaned up no big deal round it there we go and then there's just one little tiny piece right here all right there we go now I'm gonna look at my pattern here as I do this. I'm gonna grab a piece of cardboard because when I use that repositionable tape runner, 
I like to use it on a piece of cardboard so I don't get it on my table. So you want the balloons to be facing up. So the first one I'm gonna put down is the green since it's on the bottom. So I'm gonna flip it over and put my repositionable tape runner on the back. Just put little dabs real quick. You don't need a lot. Now, so this, this comes out in little clear dots so the excess sticks on what's behind it. And so that only it only sticks on the design where it needs to. So you don't have little pieces sticking out everywhere. So that's why I like to put it on cardboard, just so I don't have to wipe it off my table. But if you ever do get it on a table, something like that, you can you can clearly just wipe it off. It's, it's okay, but it's just easier not to have to do all that. Okay, now I'm going to take my border strip, mount my green balloons here, you know what? I see another little shaggy edge there. I don't know if shaggy's the right word, but you know what I mean. It's just not supposed to be there. Okay, so I'm going to mount this down kind of toward the top. And just sort of rub it gently. And then rub it a little bit harder to make sure it all sticks down. Oops. Yeah. To make sure it sticks down. I think I might need a little extra tape right there on the end. I don't think I got any on that star, so I'm gonna add a little dab right there. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to do is this yellowish, light colored yellow one, and on the back, I'm gonna put my tape runner. Now, when you're dealing with designer paper, it's a little bit flimsy compared to cardstock, so you wanna be extra gentle with it. So I kinda of hold my thumb down, and I'm just a little bit more careful not to tear my paper, so I don't go too fast with my tape runner on that. Okay, just a little more gentle. There we go. And I'm going to position this one down and over just a little bit to kind of make it look like the green balloons are poking out the top. But I don't want that star to extend past my background. Um, there we go. That's pretty good. And just stick them down. I do see right here, this balloon is kind of flat on the top and I'm not sure why, so I will round that off when I'm done, but I'm gonna save time and not do that right now. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this pink. Just gently put my tape runner on the back. And over time, when your cardboard gets a lot of excess tape runner on it, it's time to just throw it away. And I get these cardboards from the back of the card stock that I buy from Creative Members, because I buy it in packs of 10 of the same color and then um, I have the cardboards left so this is a really good use for them. I kind of do other things with it too but this is the main thing. So now I've got my three rows of balloons and just pretend that that one is rounded at the top with micro scissors and I do want to see that's kind of sticking out on the back. I'm going to flip it over and just cut it flush along that edge and that one's fine. Okay, so that's how to do that. We're almost done. That was so easy. And then all you do is take your die cuts, which I put right here. And I'm not gonna actually mount these because I wanna save these for future use, but I would put my repositionable tape runner on the back of all those. And I would stick the cake like this, like the sample, the cupcake like this, you just don't want it, I didn't want it peeking out past the border. And then I would stick my hip hip hooray like this and kind of tilt it a little bit. And then my finished product would look like this. So I love that balloon and stars border maker cartridge. I think it's really fun for all kinds of things. I mean, obviously for birthday, um, this kind of looks like a girl birthday to me. Um, if you, um, I still have plenty of the older birthday pack in stock that was primary colors. It was kind of more for boys, but you could do red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. You could do black, silver, metallic, gold, metallic for like New Year's or celebrations. You could just change your colors and make this look like um, almost anything. Thank y'all for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.